Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK, coming to you from Hamcation 2025. And Spec 5 is something that I keep hearing about, but I know almost nothing about. And thankfully, Daniel here is gonna help us out this morning. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Daniel, thank you so much for taking a few minutes. Thank you. So you gotta help me out. I know this is Mesh-tastic. Yes, sir. But I know very little about Mesh-tastic. I did buy a couple of Helltech devices, uh, you know, a year, year and a half back yeah. and played with it. But you guys have really kind of expanded that line. Yes, sir. Can you tell me a little bit about your products here? Yeah, so uh, the product that, that we've started with are out of the box, pre-flashed and assembled Mesh-tastic devices. So we're looking to get people into using the ecosystem, into using this, this Mesh radio technology uh, that don't want to build them, that don't want to learn how to flash them, um, that just want to get playing in the Mesh. Okay. So, so we've got a variety of, of devices you know, we're, we're using a lot of the same radios that, that, that you can buy by yourself, that you can build your own, you, you build your own devices from, uh, but we're just pre-packaging pre them and configuring them for you uh, in kind of inno inno innovative ways. Um, all of our stuff is designed and built in Texas, right here in the good old U.S. of A. Um, and, uh, and we're really proud of our product. So now I know when I bought those Helltex, I had to USB cable them to the computer and figure out which browser and download the firmware and, and reflect. You take care of all of that for us. Ready right? to go out of the box. You turn it on, download, download the app, do the Bluetooth connection, and you are talking on the mesh. Okay. Now, if I want to get into it, what yes, do you recommend for a starter? So the two devices that are best to start off with in our, in our range are either the, the Mini Trekker um, or the Trekker Bravo. Okay. Uh, both of these actually use the same radio board. Um, it's just that the uh, Mini Trekker has a smaller battery. It's about uh, 1,200 milliamp hour and then a, and then a smaller internal antenna. Um, so you're talking, you know, five to six hours of battery life, depending on how much, how much you're using it, how much message traffic is on the mesh. Um, and maybe one, one to three miles of, of range, node, node to node. Okay. The, the, the Trekker Bravo, again, has the same, same radio board, but just a bigger battery and the nice, uh, flexible, high gain external antenna. So this is gonna be your full day of battery, eight to 10 hours of usage. Um, and then, you know, in, in urban environments, you're gonna be in like the three to five mile range, um, but in wide open environments, um, without, a lot, without a lot of trees and vegetation, a really good line of sight. We've had users get C nodes 15 to 20, 25 miles away. Okay. Um, so, you know, having the bigger, the bigger high gain external antenna really boosts the range. So it really comes down to how you're going to use it. Both of these devices, again, are great intros. Um, you know, in, in, the, in, in the best case scenario, you, you, you buy one of each so that you have two devices so you can start playing with it right. and, 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 and helping someone else with it. From there, you kind of go up to our Magnum, um, which a lot of people have seen. It's based on the, uh, the Lily Go T-Deck. Now, this uh, is the one that most interests me. Yep, the Ranger. Uh, yeah, because um, I don't need my phone with this one, right? No, so the only thing you need the phone for on this one is just configurations. So. Once you've got the device configured, you know, again, we, we provide it flashed and basic configured. The configurations that you would add are like changing the name of the device, adding any custom or, or private channels that you want to speak on. But once those are set up, you can send messages, you can receive messages without being tied to your phone. Okay, and what does a typical battery life look like on one of these devices? Yeah, so this one has a, has a, has a big, big flat pack battery in it. So you, you will get a, you know, eight, eight to 10 hours of, of usage out of that one as well. So I can get a full day out of it. Yes, sir. All right, yes, now, sir. What, uh, last question before we wrap this up. What's the big guy over here? The big guy, so this is our Nomad. Uh, this is a handheld Raspberry Pi computer. Okay. So there's a Raspberry Pi 5 inside. You got a full touch screen, full keyboard, as well as the LoRa radio that runs Meshtastic. Uh, so the uh, Meshtastic developers have uh, Debian that runs uh, on the on the on the Pi firmware, which is a Linux uh, Linux based operating system. So this will communicate uh, Meshtastic over Linux. Um, so this is this is your kind of super user, power user. Um, device, uh, the guys who are playing with software-defined radios and the other digital tech, 
uh, this is going to be your like handheld gateway to all that uh, with the Meshtastic uh, radio incorporated in it. That's intriguing. Yes, it I've is. I've done a lot of work with Raspberry Pi over the years. That's an intriguing device. Yep. So maybe I only thought I wanted this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we offer this one with both a, a four gig RAM and an eight gig RAM uh, Pi Five inside. Okay. Nice. And four hundred bucks. Well, at least as of uh, time of recording. Yes, sir. Uh, that's what that's going to go for. But that includes the Raspberry Pi. Yes, sir. In there. Ready to go. Nice. I like it. Thank Man, you. Man, thank you so much for taking a few minutes with me this I, morning. I appreciate it. Thank yes, you, sir. Jason. All right, guys. There's a little bit more about Spec Five. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you on the next one. Until then, 7-3.